What up, guys? Moody here. And today, I'll give you guys the rundown on these wingsuit creations. Um, now, your best bet is to, um, I mean, if you haven't got a lot of experience with these, is to start off uh, creating it with the race, guys, because in the race, uh, you actually get the pass recorder option, which will actually help you place your props and get them where you actually need them. Capture doesn't really have that, so you got to use your head. A little bit more to uh, get these things to work uh, but in a race it will let you get the recorder option now me um, I prefer the uh, transform race um, you can do this with a GTA race as well you just got to be able to get out of the car and you have to have a parachute there um, and in a GTA race if you deploy that chute once it's over with you can't get another parachute so your best bet is just make it a transform race because once it respawns you'll automatically be in the parachute um, i found it's a lot easier and a lot funner um, all right first thing guys want to do is you want to get your start point as high as you can get it um you don't have to have it as high as you can get it but if you the further you want to go the higher you're going to want your uh, uh your base your base point all right so me i use the stunt track and just take it all the way up guys all right once you get that one up there it won't go up anymore just click it now on this next one make sure it's the um raised stunt track it'll get you up there faster trust me you don't want to use advanced method it takes a long time to get up to the very top um, this is the best way to do it now that exceeds the height limit so all you're going to do here is just override your position drop it down to where it's not transparent anymore all right now you got that up there all right now you can either use that as your jump off or you can make something a little bit more um, suit and dear taste you know what i mean this is just an example here so this is how we're going to what we're going to use all right uh, now you can either put your trigger way down there on the ground you know what i mean underneath your prop here so you can put your checkpoint up here or you can just go in the first person mode here go to your crater options placement pick your trigger now if you tilt back on the stick you notice it just turned white right you can lay that trigger up here guys that's how you put triggers in the sky you know what i mean just go to first person tilt back and wait till that thing turns white see it's white boom and that trigger is all the way up here all right now get out of there you got your trigger set up okay now you want to put your checkpoints right close to the edge so everybody ain't got to run a mile to get to them um, go down here and add your custom vehicle go to players on foot and add them now to be able to test a transform race you guys you're gonna have to put a lobby vehicle checkpoint um, me personally on these point to points just make your lobby vehicle the last checkpoint your finished checkpoint it'll do the same thing just like you see here all right transform lobby vehicle all right now it gives me the option to test all right now once you got it up there and you can test one two things you just use your head, you know what I mean, and figure out where your props need to go just by seeing where you're going to jump off to, like so. Now, to get the, the best, you just want to hold up on that stick just lightly. You know what I mean? You don't want to hold up on it too hard because it shoots it down. You know what I mean? You don't hold up on it enough, it just goes straight down. You want just a slight tilt forward, and it'll start sending your character forward. Like I said, the higher your platform, the further you can glide, guys. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, with that path recorder option, you know what I mean? You can actually record your path so you can uh, line up your props uh, to coordinate with your course. Um, pretty cool. Uh, this was just the test there. Now, all right, path recording options. All right, we're gonna bring recording. Start recording. Path Recorder is a great addition to this creator, guys. That was so helpful. I wish I had added this year, uh, years ago. Oh, where's my path? Okay, let's exit test. All right, now it'll still give you your path record. You can even record your path in test phase, guys. Um, and when you're testing one of these and your uh, 
first checkpoint is a player checkpoint, it'll automatically put you in the parachute like you'll see here. Like I'm not even going to test it. I'm just going to hit select and go to my third person or first person view here. Now, race creator options, pass recording option, begin recording. Okay. Here's our pass. All right, make sure you got a good run when, you, when you're recording your pass. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you jumped off correctly. You're hitting the analog stick forward correctly. Um, you'll know because the, uh, the further you go, you know what I mean, that if you're, you're doing it right. Like, this ultimately should get me almost to downtown from that spot up there. I tested it last night. See, he's dropping straight down now. Tilt forward a little bit. Just like so, guys. All right. Pal. Now go back up to your platform. As you can see here, you got a nice little guideline you can go by here. Now, that ain't a very good one because I kind of let off and started heading straight downward there. But you see that angle right there, guys? That's the angle you're looking for. Um, you'll actually want to make it a little greater than that, um, a little greater than a 45 degree angle, because um, he is going downwards. I mean, it's hard. The more you try to level this out, the harder it's going to be to keep him from splattering into the ground. Uh, me personally, keep it a nice 45 degree angle like that. And then once you get that little spot there, you got your pass recorder lined up. Me, I like using these. Um, the, the stunt tubes. Um, I try to make them to where you can't cheat them. You have to go in the stunt tube. Like so. Now, if you're all lined up correctly, You should be able to uh, get yourself through that tube. You know what I mean? So we'll just test her right here and see if we can get through that tube right there. Yep, just like so, guys. You know what I mean? And after that, just connect your tubes, connect your props, you know what I mean? Keep it closed in so people can't go outside of your tube and cheat their way to the finish line. You want to make it to where they are trapped inside that tube, you know what I mean? And they have no other choice but to go that direction. Um, had a few cats asking me how I did these things, and this is how I do it, guys. You know what I mean? simple nothing to it it's just a testing guys you know what i mean like any other race if you want your stunt to work you know what i mean you want it to uh act right you know what I mean? you're gonna have to test it you know what I mean? gobs and gobs and gobs of testing guys you know what i mean uh, i think i i spend more time in here testing than i actually do uh, playing these things you know what i mean a lot of them take forever to get through i made one last last night and Oh my god, it took me 20 attempts so I can get me a straight shot through video footage. <laughs> Going through that thing. They are not easy. And you want to make them a little trickier, guys, because, you know, if, if you do them too fast, the payout's not going to be good. The RP's not going to be any good. So you want to make them a little tricky so, you know, it lasts longer than 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, you'll maximize on your payout. Uh, now, these, you absolutely make more money with them, um, putting them in a capture. Um, but this is a way to do it um, solo by yourself, you know what I mean, or to test them out. You don't have to have a buddy wait. You don't have to wait for a buddy to be able to do this by yourself if you make it in a race. Like I said, use a GTA or a transform race. Uh, me personally, the transform race is your best option. And after that, use your pass recorder and then just line up your props accordingly. And you should have yourself a fully functional wingsuit race. Smooth 765 and hopefully it's helpful. Keep on great.